there's a uh giant stone giant stone circle money that was my <laughs> that was my search okay there's these things called rye stones right or fey stones whatever it is um the native inhabitants of the yap islands in micronesia use or maybe did use i'm not sure if they're now is i'm not, I'm not sure if it's current but as their currency they used these eight foot tall 4,000 kilogram rocks as their currency. Imagine if you had a quarter and it was 4,000 kilograms, 8,000 pounds, and it was a circle with a hole in it, right? Okay, cool. So <laughs> this is true, this is true. As far as I know, this is 100% true. And there were six thousand of these stones six thousand that was their whole economy it was just giant fucking stones and this sounds really weird right but how they would do it is someone had a stone right someone has this stone they don't have to have it on them because if it was on them they'd be dead remember eight thousand pounds this is a lady dimitrescu sized stone she's slightly tall it's eight feet She's slightly taller, but it's big, right? Huge. And they would, someone would have a stone and they would go, I want something that you have. I would like that, say cow or whatever it is, or, or computer or something like that. They, whatever the equivalent of a computer for them would be. Like whatever they want. And they go like, I'm gonna pay you a stone for it. And they're like, oh, hell yeah. I love stones. And they would, not even move the stone, but they would just say, apparently, this stone's yours now. And the other person would be like, all right, that's my stone. And everyone would know that's that guy's stone now. And that's it, that's the end of it. You don't even have to move it, but the stone is how the currency. And this sounds really weird until you realize that is exactly how money works today. I have numbers in my bank account. You have numbers in your bank account. There's cash, of course, there's cash. That's the stone, right? That's the rock, but I go place order for delivery or something like that. I'll give you 20 numbers. I'll give you 20 numbers if you get me some delicious food delivered to my door. And if it gets here fast, I will give more numbers to the sweet delivery person. I will do that. I'll give you numbers. And then they're like, I love numbers. I want numbers. Hell yeah. You got a deal. You got a deal, my friend. You get those numbers over here. We'll get that food there post haste and then the numbers change and nothing moves and it's like oh my god rocks are the same as numbers you know what i mean rocks are exactly the same as numbers and it blew my mind my mind exploded burst out of my ears because i there's another weird example about the stones right there's a stone one of these eight foot tall stones fell off a boat or something and it's in the bottom of the ocean it's still good it's still good for money because it still belonged to someone when it fell down so all they do is be like oh my stones at the bottom of the ocean but you can have it if i get that thing and then they're like oh hell yeah and then everyone knows that the stone at the bottom of the ocean is that person's they never move it they'll never get that out of the ocean but they know and it's the same with a bank. It's, it's, it's the same. You know what I mean? It's, it's the goddamn same. All numbers are rocks. Money is just rocks. We're all, it's, it's just rocks. And the difference is the only thing it represents is just people making an agreement. Right? That's it. It's just people making an agreement. It's the same thing. I don't know how many numbers that food is worth to the other person, but I know how many numbers I'm willing to give up for it. And I'm like, this is like, okay, anyone who's actually been to college for economy already knows this. This isn't mind blowing for you, but I like, I, I went to school for engineering. You know, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't not an economist, you know, it's not me, but it, it, on the fundamental level, it's very strange to boil it all down to that. The entirety of human exchange comes down to numbers that if people lost confidence in them, they would be meaningless. Fascinating. 
Anyway, I don't know why I was talking about this. Anyway, so this is me trying to justify to myself and rationalize that just because Lady Dimitrescu is a series of ones and zeros doesn't mean she's not real. <laughs> Lady Dimitrescu, I'll give you a giant rock if you just let me shake your hand. She'll crush it. You'll crush my fingers. That all. She'll crush me. Anyway, so I have no conclusion about this. I have no conclusion about this at all. It really has no effect on your day-to-day -day life. But just know that at some point, if you put paper in the right order and you put some ink on there in just the right way, suddenly it become money. You know what I mean? If you cut a rock in just the right way, money. <laughs>